everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing my October favorites so I do a monthly favorites video almost every month um, you know I don't really I'm not always purchasing new product so it's a little more difficult for me because some of the stuff are just things that I've been loving for months and I don't really want to do repeats in, a, in each favorites video so I kind of just have a couple things it's not very much but I just thought I wanted to show them anyways let you guys know what I like and maybe things that if they're not you know so loud or anything that you can go purchase for yourself and so what else? I do have a whole monthly favorites playlist and I'll link that down below for you uh, if you're wondering about the makeup that I'm wearing stay tuned for my video I tested out a whole face of new products and it was really fun so let me show you some favorites of this month that I have just been loving. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I do upload three days a week. I am pushing for five, but I, um, I do have quite the busy schedule, but I would like to grow my channel more, and so I am pushing for five days a week. But right now it's three, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. The first one that I've been loving, I purchased this in September, and... I've been using it mainly for baking, but then one day I decided to just set my face with it, and I have been loving it ever since, and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in the shade Vanilla. So it looks like this. It's actually pretty big. It has 0.9 ounces. I did say it like in a video a couple weeks ago that this has like 0.9 ounces, and Cody Airspun is like 3.4 ounces. This doesn't give me the flashback that Cody Airspun does. Um, I feel like... Cody Airspun should be used for baking, not for all over the face. And this one has like a little bit of like a translucent powder color, but they do have a lot of other colors too. So um, definitely check out, I think this is an Ulta exclusive, or this maybe is a Ulta and Sephora, but go check this out. This is really, really a nice powder and you don't need a lot. It was cold, so I had to put on my sweater. But the next product I've been liking and that I've just been reaching for a lot more lately, this isn't like a new product, but this is something that I've really been reaching for. And it's the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I'm wearing it today and I feel like it's so good. I love this. It is so good. I think it's a great dupe for shape tape. Huge applicator. I think it's like 10 bucks at the drugstore. Rascal, and you should definitely go check it out. If you're as fair as me, um, my shade is the shade Light Ivory. I am always on a highlighter kick. I love highlighter. And the three, yes, three highlighters that I have been really into this month um, are first, the Anastasia, is one, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. I don't know if you can still get this anymore. But it's a, just a nice, you know, I can't even see my swatch, whatever. Um, a nice, shimmery, glittery, beautiful highlighter. And actually, let me check to see if it's on Ulta or Sephora. It's not on Ulta anymore, but this is just something that I've been liking lately. Yeah. This is another... Highlighter you can also get at Ulta. I think it was six or seven dollars. It's the um, Makeup Revolution has a, a couple different like other brands. This is Revolution Pro, and this is the Skin Finish in the shade Radiance. Now, Makeup Revolution likes to do this with some of their products, where look at that shine. They like to dupe other brands. So this reminds me so much of so much of a Mac skin finish, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is like six or seven dollars again, and I really really like it. Um, something that I'm using more as a highlighter topper is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics <laughs> Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet. Looks like this. It kind of reminds me of the Fenty one, but instead of being like white sparkle it's a champagne sparkle this came out with the jawbreaker collection and I've been really liking this lately very cool very sparkly so for bronzer I've been really into 
the I'm out of breath. I've been really into the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I purchased this like six months ago, and really, I'm using this more than any of my other bronzers. It smells like coconuts and sunscreen. Yeah, I feel like it really helps on my super fair complexion where it's not too deep, which a lot of bronzers for me are too deep. So this is a very nice color just to bronze up the perimeter of my face and everything, and I feel like it does a very nice job of it. Oh, I have a highlighter palette that <laughs> I've also been using a lot lately. This is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Dream Glow Kit. Oh my gosh. This came out last year. This is mine is super messy just because these highlighters are very chunky. So it looks like this. I know mine's really gross and messy. But that's kind of like what one of the swatches looks like. Boom. These are very chunky highlighters. They are so good though. My favorite is like the yellowish one called Sunshine. Let me swatch that for you. Ooh, that is like a blinding highlight. I love it. I'm gonna put some on right now and show you. It is so good. I can't even with it. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is a really short video. <laughs> but um, another product that I've been really liking, I like all these products. I don't know why I'm saying another product that I've been liking. Oh my gosh, I'm so weird. <laughs> but this is from e.l.f. and it's the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Now you guys know I love my brow whiz. I think that is my favorite brow product of all time. But you know, I saw this is two dollars and I'm wearing it today on my brows and I think it really does me justice. It's a more creamy brow pencil than the brow is. It also has a little bit thicker like marker to it. Almost it's a little bit thicker pencil, but it's so nice and I feel like it really complements my brows nicely. I'm in the shade neutral brown, if any of you are wondering. And if you don't want to spend $23 on the Anastasia pencil, I would just go for the e.l.f. one. I think that these, this is also a really good one. So I've kind of been hopping around with different palettes this month, just kind of appreciating what I have and trying some things out. So the three palettes that really stood out to me this month, and I am going to be doing a series kind of about all different kinds of palettes that I have noticed that don't get any love anymore. You know, they came out, they were raved about, and then nothing. And so <laughs> that is a series coming soon. I think I have about 15 palettes on the, those videos, so that's gonna be a really fun series to make. But this is one of the palettes that I think that I haven't really been reaching for much, and I've been really enjoying it this month, and it's the Naked Cherry palette. So this got so much hype. When it first came out and it kind of hasn't anymore I know it's kind of a different palette but I love it I think that this is such a nice palette I think the colors in it are really fun to do to work with and there's a lot of really cool looks to do this is available at, at Ulta and Sephora I believe the next one you can't get anymore and I feel like you guys are going to hate me, but, you know, I'm all about being honest here. And if I buy something that's limited edition, I'm going to use it. I'm not just going to get rid of it after doing one video just because of people saying that they don't want me to use it. I'm going to use it, okay? And I say this in tutorials a lot, but if you see me using something in a tutorial that's discontinued, that you can't get anymore, or you can't afford, don't sweat it. Seriously. Like, you can find dupes for anything nowadays. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, but this is the Anastasia Sultry palette. I love this thing. Oh my gosh. Love the cool tones. Such a beautiful holiday palette. Oh my god. People are finding this at like TJ Maxx and 
um, Marshalls. So be on the lookout for those in your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But I love this. I love the quality of Anastasia shadows. I think that they, here's just two right there. I think that their shimmers just have this beautiful light reflecting quality to them. And their mattes blend really well without having any skipping to them. And that is really something to say because some mattes skip and they kind of leave like patchiness or balding. And this one, these shadows don't. So if you are in the market for a new eyeshadow palette, I would definitely go with an Anastasia palette. Um, the one, the rectangle, it's not the Norvina ones. Um, my favorite to all time Anastasia palette is the Norvina one, the purple one. Not the big like $60 one, but this one in particular. I think this one is the best palette. Ooh, this one. This is also a limited edition one. This was from last year's Too Faced, la um, last year holiday collection from Too Faced, and it's the Beauty Daydreamer. Oh my gosh, this one has like a really cute bunny on it. It has 16 eyeshadows. I think these eyeshadows really work well. Um, I didn't give it a ton of love when I first got it. But now I'm like really into it. I think it's really cool. You got a blush, pinky highlight or blush topper, a highlight and a bronzer. I don't think the highlight is like super amazing in my opinion. It's kind of lackluster. Um, but I love the blush and the bronzer. So yeah, and I will have um, some videos about this year's Too Faced holiday collection if you're interested. So I know this was a short video, but I really wanted to share with you um, my favorites, things that I've been loving, and maybe inspiring you to try out new things, or just go back in your collection and see what haven't I used in a while, and what can I, you know, use more of. You know, that's what I did with the Too Faced palette, that's what I did with the highlighters, that's what I did with the Anastasia Dream Palette. Like, I just use different, I like to go back into my collection and just see, you know, different items that I have and different things that I can repurpose and use and all that stuff. So, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And it really means a lot to me that you guys are clicking on my videos and give me a thumbs up. But don't forget to subscribe as well. Once we get to 250 subscribers, we are doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.